Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three-phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we shall learn how to determine sending and voltage, current and power factor of a three-phase medium length transmission line using its nominal T equivalent circuit when load details and values of transmission line parameters are given. A three-phase 50 hertz, 100 km long overhead transmission line with 132 kV as line voltage at the receiving end has the following constants per phase. Resistance equals to 0 0.17 ohm per kilometer. Inductance equals to 1.1 millihenry per kilometer. And capacitance equals to 0 0.0082 microfarad per kilometer. Using nominal T method, we have to determine the sending and voltage, the sending and current and its power factor when 70 megawatt at 0 0.8 power factor lagging load is connected at the receiving end. Let us first write down the given data. Power consumed by the load PL equals to 70 megawatts. That is equal to 70 into 10 to the power 6 watts. Line to line receiving end voltage VR line equals to 132 kilovolts. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system, receiving end voltage per phase VR equals to VR line divided by root 3. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3. That gives us 76,210 volts. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8. That is equal to 36.8699 degree. Expression for power consumed by the load PL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL cos phi L. Therefore load current IL equals to PL divided by root 3 times VR line into cos phi L. Using values we get. 70 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 132 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.8. That is equal to 382.7 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L equals to 382.7 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Given length of the transmission line D equals to 100 kilometers. Resistance per kilometer per phase R1 equals to 0 0.17 ohm. Inductance per kilometer per phase L1 equals to 1.1 milli Henry. And capacitance per kilometer per phase C1 equals to 0 0.0082 microfarad. Now we shall calculate resistance per phase R equals to R1 times D. Using values we get 0 0.17 into 100 equals to 17 ohm. Inductance per phase L equals to L1 times D. Using values we get 1.1 into 100 that gives us 110 milli Henry. That is equal to 0 0.11 Henry. And capacitance per phase C equals to C1 times D. Using values we get 0 0.0082 into 100. That gives us 0 
micro farad that is equal to 0.82 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad. Let us now calculate inductive reactance per phase. XL equals to 2 pi F into L. Given supply frequency F equals to 50 hertz. Therefore, XL equals to 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.11. That is equal to 34.56 ohm. And capacitive susceptance per phase. BC equals to 2 pi F into C. Using values we get. 2 pi into 50 into 0 0.82 into 10 to the power minus 6. That is equal to 2.576 into 10 to the power minus 4 more. Transmission line impedance per phase. Z equals to R plus J XL. That is equal to 17 plus J times 34.56 ohm. Let us now determine per phase impedance of half of the transmission line. ZH equals to half of Z that is equal to 8.5 plus J times 17.28 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 19.257 ohm at an angle 63.8 degree. Taking receiving and voltage per phase as reference we can write VR equals to 76,210 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have determined load current IL equals to 382.7 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 306.16 minus J times 229.62 ampere and per phase impedance of half of the transmission line ZH equals to 19.257 ohm at an angle 63.8 degree. Let us now calculate capacitor voltage per phase VC equals to VR plus IL into ZH. Using values we get 76,210 at an angle 0 degree plus 382.7 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree into 19.257 at an angle 63.8 degree. That gives us 82,780 0.4866 plus J times 3337.74 volt. This may be written in polar form as 82847.75 volt at an angle 2.31 degree. Now we shall calculate capacitor charging current. IC equals to VC into J times VC. We have computed capacitive susceptance per phase. VC equals to 2.576 into 10 to the power minus 4 more. Therefore, IC equals to 82,847.75 at an angle 2.31 degree into 2.576 into 10 to the power minus 4 at an angle 90 degree that gives us 21.34 ampere at an angle 92.31 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as minus 0 0.86 plus J times 21.324 ampere. Now we shall calculate sending and current IS equals to IC plus IL. Using values we get 305.3 minus J times 208.296 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 369.588 ampere 
at an angle minus 34.3 degree. Let us now determine sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to Vc plus Is into Zh using values we get 82,780.4866 plus J times 3,337.74 plus 369.588 at an angle minus 34.3 degree into 19.257 at an angle 63.8 degree. That gives us 88,974.944 plus J times 6,842.3953 volt. This may be written in polar form as 89,237.655 volt at an angle 4.3975 degree. We have obtained sending and voltage per phase Vs equals to Vs at an angle delta equals to 89,237.655 volt at an angle 4.3975 degree and sending and current Is equals to Is at an angle minus phi 1 equals to 369.588 ampere at an angle minus 34.3 degree. For star connected system, line to line sending and voltage, Vs line equals to root 3 times Vs. That is equal to root 3 into 89,237.655. That gives us 154.564 into 10 to the power 3 volt or 154.564 kilo volt. Phase difference between Vs and Is, phi S equals to delta plus phi 1. Using values we get 4.3975 degree plus 34.3 degree. That is equal to 38.6975 degree. Let us now calculate Sending end power factor cos phi s equals to cos of 38.6975 degree that is equal to 0 0.78 lagging. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we have learned how to determine sending end voltage, current, and its power factor of a three phase medium length transmission line using its nominal T equivalent circuit when load details and values of transmission line parameters are given. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.